Rio is too much partying, <laughs> too much drinking, too much, too much of everything, anything you can imagine. Too much girls, too much guys, too much of everything. If you really, <laughs> if you're gonna live in a country, you going and survive there. You have to be with a place where you can live comfortable, and it's too expensive. Yeah. If you had the choice, would you prefer to date a Brazilian man or a foreigner? <laughs> The party is getting bigger. When you decide to travel, one of the most important decisions you will make will be your lodging accommodation. Hotels offer privacy, more luxurious experience, they are generally quieter and have more amenities. In the other hand, when staying in a hostel, it's easier to meet other travelers, they offer a variety of different kinds of activities and events, and the most important point is they are generally budget-friendly. That's the reason why seasoned travelers like Backpack Mo and Philly Dom precisely choose to stay in the ladder. That's why I say the hostel, also being a content creator, it's easy to get your energy up. Sometimes when you're by yourself, your energy level might be down. Yeah. But at hostel, people are always drinking, they always happy and always there's always activities going on yeah it's always new people coming in so they always bring in new vibes and new energy in there so it's always something to do and you can always tag along with people even if you're not feminine or you are uh, con even if you're not a content creator you always have somebody to hang with yeah you'll have a travel buddy you're not in the military they got battle buddy yes you got a travel buddy yeah you can always be able to travel with them yes somebody's always willing to go to the mall with you yeah somebody's willing to go to the beach with you yeah somebody's willing to cake go somewhere and drink yeah. with you somebody wants to go to all the tourist attractions so you all you're not alone right so it's, it's a better way of traveling i agree and you could be at any age doing it people think like oh i'm 30 i'm 40 years old why would i stand it and it's not that you're trying to be cheap or nothing if you're going to travel for a while it's definitely a place to meet people right because i'm from the states and i'm gonna bring up the state situation again <laughs> it's hard to get a group of brothers or a group of people together to travel it's always conflict yes somebody's married somebody got kids somebody's job won't let them whatever it could be legit excuses yes but if you go to a hostel you can end, quickly link up with people and you got a crew of people to travel with i agree right away right all right and you'll be surprised you make a friend there and they be like hey philly where you going next oh i'm going to el salvador i'm going to jamaica can i tag along with you yeah all right. it's, it's calm it's not common to meet people that meet people in the hostel yes and backpack can tell you you meet people in the hostel and you end up traveling with them later right that's true um so i met a friend that i met in budapest and he's here in brazil right now wow. what are the odds of that random yes. but if you're a traveler and you you go places things like that that's a normal thing to that's find right. people to go along that's with right. so that's somebody that that i have that's going to have my back while i'm here yes. and i'm going to have his back right here yeah so as he talked about the safety thing issue when you're in a group or you're with more people you're less susceptible for somebody to you know try to take advantage of you exactly. you, can you along. yeah you always so, have somebody but you can somebody see we're a group of three you know so yes. someone's going to come they better yes. be three be three you know yeah. or that's right or bring more, more. all so, right yeah. all right I said thank you to Philly in particular because a lot of YouTubers, if you are way smaller than them, they don't want to do videos with you. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You hit them up, they say they look at your follow account, they either don't respond or they respond but they don't follow through. Most people feel like, well, I'm gonna waste my time with this guy. I'm not getting any subs from him. There's like a little competition among YouTubers, but I don't get that from Philly Dom no, at all. I'm not like that at all. He came from Sao Paulo just to see me here. He was already doing his own thing. And he met me in El Salvador. He didn't even know me. You know what I mean? So now we're walking down to the rock. After ordering our drinks, that took about an hour, Philly. An yeah, hour, man. An hour. We <laughs> finally got it. We finally drinking now. That's crazy, man. Oh, la, 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 la. I think it's better if we walk on the... On the thing, it's yeah. easier to walk on our feet. Yeah. Yeah, that's sand, man. Woo! It's like quicksand. You got to pull your feet up from this. So we're going to go back on the street and show you guys what the view is like from the big rock that you can see in Empanama Beach if we choose to come out here. So, so here we are at the rock in yes. Empanama, man. Yes. I see some of your videos. You've been out here a few times. Yeah, I've been here. It's yeah. a nice place. Nice place. I should know the name by now. I'm gonna ask somebody the name of the okay. rock. Okay, sounds good. We're gonna ask somebody. 
So they have some chairs here. This is basically, it's not the end of the beach, but this is one of the most recognizable spots you can see from here. All right. So it's a, it's a beautiful place and uh, you have an amazing view. <laughs> you have an amazing view from here all the way down. All right. So this Very is nice. the rock. So now that you've seen the rock, we're going to try to find some shade so we can continue our talk with Philly Dom in Brazil. You can tell, can you tell them on camera the name thing? She said the name. Hello, how are you? What is the name of this rock right here? Kagla. Kagla? Kagla. 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 Okay. What does that mean? The rock? Kagla is the name, no. She's saying the name of the rock. What's the name of the rock? Yeah, Porto Stone. <laughs> Porto Stone? Porto Stone. Stone. Okay. We can't pronounce it, but you know. Yeah, Porto Stone. She's saying it's called. There is Devil Beach. Okay. Devil Beach. Beach. And this is. Devil Beach? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. Sounds good. Okay. Well, should we get on the rock or. I think it's, let's try to find some shade so we rock. can talk a little bit. The shade over there? Yeah. Alright, let's do that. Alright. Bye. The rock, we can go up this way. Everybody goes. Okay, sounds good. I see some security guards here. Yeah. Well, I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. Wow. Uh, maybe she fell or something. All right. Let's carry on. Not paying attention. Yeah. So this is a steep little hike out here, my man. Yeah. And we're doing this drinking, Katharina's. It can be a little bit slippery here. You gotta be careful. Oh, no, 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 no. Watch your step. Yeah. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Man, and I got sandals on. I got my Jesus pieces here. Slippery. So guys, that's the view on this end. Yeah, this is beautiful, guys. Look at this view here. Beautiful. Wow. Everybody comes up here to watch the sunset, too. Oh, yeah, makes sense. This is a, a great place to observe the sun during the sunset. This is in Panama. Some shade. Should we, yeah, let's stay here for a minute. Right here. Yeah, I'm used to it now. Like when I first came, I was like sweating all the time, every yeah, day. Sweating, yeah. sweating, sweating. Yeah. And then boom. You got used to it. Starts, huh? yeah. Start coming off. The weight coming off. Man. Yeah, I'm sweating a lot today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the humidity level is really, really yeah, high, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So Philly, as a content creator, man, you meet a lot of people from different countries all the yes. time. Yes. So I had like a weird encounter with someone yesterday at the beach, so that's why this conversation is coming up. Okay. About how people from different countries <laughs> behave differently when it comes to the camera. Yeah. There's definitely some countries people don't even like to be recorded. So many times when you guys are watching these videos, there's like a B-roll that you don't get to see, which is the challenges we actually go through in order to get people on camera. And if you don't get people on camera, you know, it's tough because it's all about the local experience, you know, you got to connect with the people that live in the country that you're visiting. So what's your experience really about how people behave with a certain, with a camera, people from a certain country, not to name anybody in particular, a region, let's talk about that. Okay. Some countries or some regions, some people cool with the camera. Um, they don't mind you recording them. All right, we'll give you, we can, we can say this. Yeah. Brazil, Brazilians don't really care to be on camera. I mean, they they don't care to be on camera. They, they, they embrace it, they have yes. no problem with it. 
Um, I know I had some issues with people from um, the Caribbean. Some people in the Caribbean don't want to be on camera. And in the Middle East, people don't want to be on the camera. Yeah. I don't know. They don't embrace it. So uh, you have issues. So sometimes it's hard being a content creator because you guys want us to get different content and videos. And it's hard if somebody doesn't want to be on camera because you can film yourself, but so much. Yes. You need to film talking to people and Absolutely. interviewing people. Yeah. And some people just don't want to be on camera. Right. So it's, it's, it's an issue. Yes. It's an issue. It's definitely right. a big issue. Especially like being a full timer, man. People yeah. are expecting those Philly videos all the time. All the time. And sometimes it's a lot harder than what you think it is. Yeah. Because what people see, they see the finished product after it's edited. Exactly. After you did the video and you put it out. Yes. But they don't know sometimes what you had to do the video. They don't know how far you had to go to get the video. Yes. They don't know if you had to, you know, debate with somebody yes. or to edit something out because somebody didn't want something. Yes. It's a rough job, but I wouldn't pick no other job. But yeah. <laughs> You mentioned you had a situation, right? Were you with Tim when that happened? Wait, or wait. what happened with, uh, you said, from an individual from the Middle East? Let's just um, put it that way. Um, we're at the hostel. You know, you at the hostel with people from Israel, Germany, France, um, Pakistan, people from like all over the world. Yeah. And I won't say the country because the people I ain't going to say that. Yeah. But um, it was a couple of brothers. Usually the hostels, brothers don't travel there. When yeah. I say brothers, I'm black people. We in there, and he, well, I had a friend from South Africa, I'm from the States, and another black dude, I think he's like from Germany, and yes. we had a guy from England. And we were sitting there, and we're playing hip hop music and, and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, we just vibing, you know, because usually on the road, you don't really hear too much hip hop unless you play it on your own. Right. And um, the day I got like, the, the group of people got a little upset with us and cut off our music. And we had like a back and forth with them, so, Sometimes it's a cultural difference. They didn't they didn't like that we played hip hop. But yes. I mean, if they would have played their music, I would have just listened to it. We were there before them. Yeah. But sometimes, as a content creator, you experience like cultural differences with yes. different cultures yeah. and different people. So right. it, that was like a pretty uncomfortable situation. Situation. Yeah. And I'm just giving a little brief of the situation. I ain't want to go into it too deep. Yeah, but it makes sense. That's what happened. Makes sense. And you said that if you were to do this for real, for real, meaning thinking about moving to Brazil or anything like yeah. that, Rio, as much as you love it, you would not be moving here. No. Why is that? Uh, Rio is too much partying, <laughs> too much drinking, too much, too much of everything, anything you can imagine. Too much girls, too much guys, too much of everything. If you really, <laughs> if you're gonna live in a country, you gonna and survive here. You have to be with a place where you can live comfortable, and it's too expensive. Believe it yeah. or not, Rio is expensive. This is like one of the most expensive cities I've been to. Yeah. In my opinion, it's a little bit more expensive than Sao Paulo, which is the you know financial capital. capital not the capital of the country, but the financial capital. Yeah. Because all the money runs through um, Sao Paulo. Right. But, I mean, apartments in Coco Cabana are kind of pricey. The food in Coco Cabana is kind of pricey, especially when they see you as an outsider. Yes. If you're Brazilian, obviously they're going to give you a different price or you're gonna know where to go exactly and where to eat and where to drink at but right as a, a new person to a country i would definitely if you're gonna look you're gonna love you're gonna love rio but i would definitely tell you not to stay here in rio i would tell you to venture off to like salvador bahia or fortaleza yes. these are cities i lived in while i was here yeah and the vibe is more chill you're gonna spend less money you're gonna spend half of the money you would spend in rio rio yes. It's a tourist, I don't even know, a champion. Yes. It's top tier tourism, right? Yeah. It's like almost, it's almost saying that you ain't travel if you ain't been to Rio. Right. So with that title, with that name, it comes a lot of prices, a lot of responsibility. So if I was somebody said they want to come here and be an expat, I would definitely tell them to uh, do their due diligence, do their research, and check other places out in Brazil yeah. that are affordable. You can always fly back here, bus back here, drive back here yes. and get the experience, but check out other places that are a lot cheaper. You've been all over the country at this point. What is your favorite place? My favorite place for me to live in Brazil, my favorite place to live in Brazil would be Fortaleza. And Fortaleza is a place that is giving, getting the least amount of coverage compared to mm. Rio, Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo. don't get no coverage. Like yeah. That. You, you're one of the few that have been out there. So mm. like, what's the, what is it like? The city, Reminds me of like a San Diego, California, the way it's built. It's, it's a it's a real nice city. It's, it's big, obviously, but it's easy to get around. It's real convenient. Now I'm not gonna say a lot of you. A lot of people don't speak English there. Yeah. So that's gonna be one of your barriers there. That if you was in Rio, you can find more people that speak English. English. 
but the beaches are a lot better than the beaches in um in Rio. Yes, really? they are. They wow. are a lot better. In my opinion, the water is clearer. Wow. Closer to the Caribbean looking water. Okay. Not like the water they have here. Over here, yeah. Okay. Uh, the food is good. The people are very friendly, very outgoing. The one of the things you'll hear, if you Google Fortaleza, I'll tell you it's the most dangerous place in Brazil. Yeah. I don't know why they say that. I've been there. I stayed in a hostel there. I was there for like a month and a half. I had, it was no incidents, no problems there. But I stayed here in Rio and like 30 people that I know got mugged from the hostel. Wow. They got, you know, for their phones, money, Dang. stuff like that. But if, yeah, if you was going to take uh, Brazil serious, I would highly, highly recommend you to put uh, Fortaleza on your list. Like, I like Salvador Bahia, but I have to be truthful with you. I like the people from there. The city is kind of run down. Yes. And I, I'm not saying that in a disrespectful way or to, you know, say anything negative about Salvador Bahia. They're my, that's my favorite place in Brazil, Salvador Bahia, the city, that state, yes. Baja, that state. But the city is kind of run down. And I've talked to um, people from Salvador. Yeah. And they said, you, you're absolutely right. Like, they don't get the funding as like a Rio or a San Paulo or Fort the Laser. Yeah. Recife in English and Recife in, that's another good place to check out. Yeah. There's a really good vibe there. It's laid back. It's a really nice city. Yes. Uh, they just get overlooked. Like I said, Rio is just, when you think of Brazil, you think of Rio. So all them places get overlooked. Yeah. But I wouldn't just say, I wouldn't just concentrate on Rio. If yeah. you're going to live here, Definitely do your diligence, due diligence, and go check out these other cities. Yes, and you had a few uh, celebrations here for your channel growing. Yeah. What do you think was the main ingredient that led to that you know sudden growth that you were surprised about, and did some uh, live as a result to celebrate that? My, my content didn't really change or anything. I just think the people that watch my content. I did a lot of videos. My channel didn't start growing. Yeah. Here until I came to Rio. Yeah. I think because Rio has a di diverse group of people here. They have a lot of people that speak English here. Um, you have people from all over the world that come to Rio. Yeah. Like they might not go to Fort the Lays or anything, <laughs> but they all come to Rio. Yeah. So I think that helped push my, my views and yes. stuff like that. Yeah. I feel like my content is good, but it has to be in the right market. Right. For something to grow, it has to be in the right market. Of course. And Rio was definitely the right market for me. Yeah. When I first came to Brazil, I didn't want to come to Rio first because that's where everybody goes. You want to be creative and check out different places. Mm -hmm. And you want to make your own, you want to, you know, break your own bones in the in the travel of game course. or the, the YouTube game. Yes. You don't want to do what everybody do. That's why I went to places like Fort Delays and stuff like that. But when it all was said, when it was all said and done, Rio is the place that gave me the views and stuff like that. Right, so right on. long live Rio or Rio de Janeiro. So it. it's another city. He might know the name of I can't think of it. Florianapolis. 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 Yeah, so that's, that's, where another, I that's another good city to go to. A yes. lot of beaches over there. Yes. Yeah. And the beaches there look nice too. Yeah. 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 There's multiple beaches. Yeah. Yes. Definitely another place to go. Yeah. To. Florianapolis is amazing. And I always said, if I'm going to pick a place to live in Brazil, for, uh, Florianapolis is definitely going to be it. I mean, they have more beaches than you can imagine. And they have different private ones, you know, medium range, high range, you know, you have whatever, you, you know. Whatever you're into, you know, something affordable, something a little bit more luxurious, mm -hmm. you definitely find that in uh, Florianapolis. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. All right. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? All right. So, that's what's going on. Well, thanks for sitting out with us today, man. No problem, man. Ideas. We could talk and, uh, all day, all night, man. It's not a problem. All right. All right, guys. So, if it's your first time on Night Ventures, please kindly subscribe. Press that like button. Subscribe to my man Backpack Most channel here. And definitely give my man Philly Dump some love. I put the I would appreciate it. All right. Sao Paulo is the second most visited city in Brazil, right behind Rio de Janeiro. Comparing both cities is complex and it can be simplified by categorizing Sao Paulo into the business hub and Rio into the laid back beach life scene. So, where should you go for carnival? Continue watching and find out. Here I'm at the rock. And I met this beautiful Brazilian girl by the name of Barbara. So now we're talking about just all kind of stuff relating to Brazil. So Barbara, how long? Oh man, this helicopter. Let's let's wait for that to go by so it doesn't mess up the sound. Uh, you're originally from Sao Paulo, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm from Sao Paulo. And how long have you been in Rio? I've been since last week, since Friday. Since Friday? Uh, I've been here for a carnival. 
What's going on with Sao Paulo with the carnival? Guys, people, they know how to have fun, man. Brazil, the energy in this country is unparalleled. I can't think of another place in the planet that part is like Brazil does, honestly. And this is just a small portion. This is like a tiny little, you know, sample. There's the samba history. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, so yeah. people um, embrace it more. I think. Yes. The yes. carnival in São Paulo is more recent. Yes. So I think um, here, it, like, it makes part. It's a part of the culture. Here. Yes. So yes. I think so you would say the the parties here are better for around carnival, right? Yeah. Yeah. I okay. Think so. All right. Sounds good. How'd you learn English? Um, since school. Yeah. In school? Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. From school. So you have to take English classes or did you teach yourself or was it mandatory? No, it, it, um, a part was mandatory, but yes. I also took uh, 
apart uh, classes apart. So, apart, okay. Yeah. Have you traveled to the United States? No, I've never been to the U.S. Where have you traveled to, right here? I've already been to Europe, Europe. Uh, France, Italy, Germany. So, oh, nice. Yeah, Which one yeah. is your favorite? Um, I think France. Fr why? Yeah. I've lived there, so... Do you speak French? A little bit. C'est ma première langue, en fait. Ah, je parle français. Tu parles français. <laughs> ouais, je parle français. Wow, that's funny. Wow, I love yeah, the pastry yeah. there. It's a. Uh, yeah, it's really good. It's really good, it's but really the country good. can be very expensive too, man. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, it's really expensive. It's very expensive. Yeah. So what is um, what do you think? How does it work here? Like um, when it comes to dating, are you single? Are you in a relationship? What's going on? I'm single. How long have you been single? Um, for a year, maybe? For a year? Yeah. If you had a choice, would you prefer to date a Brazilian man or a foreigner? And I why? I think a Brazilian. Why? Um, I don't know. I just think the, there are less differences. So. <laughs> so, I think it's, it's easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you speak Spanish, right? No. I, I can understand Spanish, but I don't speak it. So. You, you can understand it, but you yes, can't speak it. What is your favorite food to eat out here? In we Brazil eat. in general? I think feijoada. It's feijoada. The, my favorite Brazilian dish. Yes, yes. Yeah. How about the meat, the steaks? Yeah, the meat is good too. Yeah. But I think feijoada is like the the, the whole meal. So yes. Yeah. Okay. And if somebody is watching this and this is their first time in Brazil, mm -hmm. what what would you recommend to do? What is the must must do? I know the caipirinha is the main drink, right? Is that what? Is yeah, that... caipirinha. Yes. But how about food? You say feijoada. Feijoada, feijoada pão de queijo. Yes. Uh, Pastel. <laughs> Pastel, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And as far as the city, what is your favorite part of Brazil? Um, the city? I don't know. I think Rio is the, my favorite city right now. Really? Yeah, yeah. Have you been to Florianopolis? Florianopolis, no. I love that place. You might change your mind after you go to Florianopolis. No, yeah, I don't, know. I don't know. I've never been there. Brazil is a really large country. So. It's so big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can you can just literally just travel around, and it's very different too. That's what I like about this place. Okay. And people are very friendly as well. So so yeah. Well, thanks for talking to me, man. I I wanted to get your perspective, being Brazilian, you know, because I'm only here on vacation. So I try to always connect with somebody who's local. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I thank you, guys. Uh, this is Barbara here. And uh, now you heard it. If you're going to be celebrating in a carnival, Rio is the place. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. No. The beach atmosphere in Rio is very laid back and social. It is a place that's truly hard to describe and you just have to come and feel it for yourself. To truly enjoy your stay in Rio, location is the key. So for quality and value, my favorite hotel is the Mercure. It is located right on the beach. And for a full presentation, please check out my video, Beach Lover, this one is for you, available on this channel. So I fell in love with these three trio, that's, that's what they call it, trio. So you literally have fish, chicken, and beef. And then you have some salsa and mayonnaise here for the for the for the fries. Okay. All right. So yeah, man. I like Thanks the for drink. spending time with us today, Philly, man. I know yeah, you got man. a lot going on. I got the ceviche trio uh, or whatever combo. I just asked them to, to 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 mix it up for me. To mix it up, huh? Yeah. So I don't I, 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 I don't I don't know what uh, I'm yeah. getting, but uh, you know he picked it for me, so. I trust All right. Him. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. That's a. Uh, it looks like a lot of diversity here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything, yes, sir. All uh, right. Yeah, at the end, right? So we're going to go ahead and, uh, and eat right now before we continue the journey with the one and only Billy Guy. Billy. Billy. The party is getting bigger. We got more and more people. So what's your name? Amanda. And you are Natalia.